going on guys? Gray back with another video. I hope you guys are having an awesome day. I have something I need to tell y'all. Some of you may have picked up on it by now, some of you haven't, but I am the proud owner of a PlayStation 4. Yes, mm-hmm, I got one. I didn't pay full price, so <laughs> don't think I'm like rolling in the dough or something. My brother had a friend who was moving, he was getting rid of it, it was a great deal, and so I bought it. Uh, he had some games, I exchanged them, I got Black Ops 3, I got a, not a very good headset, but a headset nonetheless, and I have messed around on the PlayStation a little bit. The controller, I can't get used to it, I don't know what it is, but I will tell you this, from playing both games, it, here, here's a few things. Number one, the graphics on the PlayStation 4 far exceed that of the Xbox One. It is, it is so apparent that this game was made for the PlayStation 4 and then put on the Xbox One, in my opinion. I mean, the YouTubers talk about it initially when the beta came out. I didn't really believe them, but man, playing on both, yeah, PlayStation 4 definitely has better graphics. The connection is worse on the PlayStation 4 than the Xbox, without a doubt. I have never had this many connection issues before. One of the reasons I don't really play the PlayStation that much is because I lag a lot, and it's not my internet. My internet is great. I do not have connection issues on the Xbox One like I do on the PS4. I don't know what it is. Um, the other thing, the players. I find that the players in Xbox One are a little bit more competitive in PlayStation 4, although I will tell you that I've only had the PlayStation 4 since the DLC has been active. So maybe all the really good players have the DLC and they've been playing over there. So just a couple things on that. I've gotten some okay gameplays, but like I said, I can't get used to the remote. So if you guys have PlayStation 4s and you want to play with me, let me know. Uh, my gamer tag looks a lot like my regular gamer tag, except I have a lowercase i in front of Great Disciple. I'll put it on the screen right now. The reason why I don't have Great Disciple is because I already had it on PlayStation and I can't remember my email and password, so I had to start a whole new account. Because if you don't know, I played on PlayStation 3 primarily for the last five years. All right, another thing, a uh, real interesting article or a message that was found on Reddit by one of my friends, Big Text 22 I talk about him all the time. This Reddit user, I'll post his name on the screen right now, uh, he talked about crypto key earn rate and it really piqued my interest. What he said was this, Per minute in the game, if you win the game, you will earn 30% 30, 30 of a crypto key. If you lose, it's about 22% of a crypto key earned per minute. So you break it down in a winning game, every three minutes you're gonna earn one key. Makes a lot of sense to me, it really does. My personal theory on crypto key earn rate is this, it's based upon your match bonus. I believe that for every 1,000 score in your match bonus, you earn a key and it carries over. That's my theory. I don't know what your guys are. Those are the two best ones that I've come across. Uh, crypto key versus COD points, don't really care. I will say this, ever since the DLC weapons dropped, it is 100% apparent that Treyarch has nerfed the ability for regular crypto keys to get anything in this game. I mean, I, I get nothing with my crypto keys. From when the game first came out till now, nothing, nothing. Do I think that this game has become pay to win? No, and I don't think it ever will, because if it did, it would ruin the franchise. They, they won't do it, okay? The DLC weapons do look fun, I'm not gonna lie. I mean, that MX Grand looks like a blast, although it also looks annoying at the same time, because you can't reload. That pistol looks fun, I would never use it. And then the, the crossbow is probably the thing I would want the most, but it fires like the ballistic knife, and that sounds frustrating. But it, you know what, those guns would be a lot of fun to use when you're playing with your buddies. So that's my opinion on that. Uh, as for the DLC purchase, because I still get messages on this, I am not buying the DLC. I have decided 100%. If Treyarch comes out here soon, and I mean soon, saying that they're going to put a deactivate button on it or that they'll have its own playlist, I would probably buy it. But once Xbox One uh, releases the backwards compatibility to Black Ops 1, it won't matter if they do it because I probably won't buy the DLC because I'll be playing Black Ops 1. Um, uh, one last thing here, I have a couple videos that were posted on TSG that are sitting in my video inbox and they're uh, unlisted or private right now. I'm going to go ahead and make them public to get them out because I still get messages from people on how to get on TSG and my opinions on core versus hardcore. So if you see those hit your inbox, I just know that I'm not trying to flood your inbox. I don't want you to get annoyed by it. You can ignore them, watch them, whatever you want to do. I just want them available so I can share the links if I need to. All right. And I think I may leave it there. Although I was thinking about a subject because we were talking about COD points that I may do a video on. If you guys want to put your opinion on it, that would be great. 
Uh, Big Tex 22 asked me in one of my videos what my thoughts were about gambling and COD points. And you know what? It's been on my mind and I can't stop thinking about it. My wife had gone to a bachelorette party in Oklahoma at a casino and she talked about the crowds. You know, I've been to Vegas a couple times. You know, being in sales, a lot of our conventions and trips are at casinos and it's a different crowd. And, does it relate to COD points and people who like to gamble on the RNG? And you know what? I think there is something there. If you guys would like me to speak on it, I'm more than happy to do a video. You guys let me know down below. As always, hit that thumbs up button. Give me your theories on crypto key earn rate and subscribe for more. I'll see you in the next one.